What's up, Zox fam? We are back for day 18 of the Beginner's Guide for Dislike for 2024. Now, I wanted to take the time with today's video to be a little bit more primarily focused on point war, beat bout, just kind of walking through that process, getting you guys kind of set up for that because this is going to be a very, very essential aspect to your gameplay loop as far as you establishing weekly currency and even daily currency. So this is going to matter quite a bit. Now, outside of that, it's also going to be the ways that you're able to obtain duplicates for not only Sachiko, but another amazing unit named Ude. So you really want to make sure you're working your way up. And granted, you might not achieve all these things right away, but it is at least something you want to have cooking up when you have the opportunity to have it cooked up, right? So we're going to jump right into it. Of course, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And if you are watching this for the first time, make sure you jump all the way back to day zero so that you can kind of get some context what has led us up to this point, all right? So the first thing, guys, is that we're currently in tier seven. Now, I actually had like kind of stopped doing point war so I could focus more on the PVE aspect. Like you do want to still do it like a lot more than I have obviously have done it. But the goal is, is really only to shoot for about point war 12 for right now. Because honestly, once you get up a little bit higher, it is going to become a little bit more intricate you're going to need to know about composition and have more you know more specific units to fit into a specific comp right but in terms of like your layouts right and i want to kind of talk about that what kind of teams can you take into uh pvp and they're going to perform very well now for my team i just decided to just kind of bring the team that i have invested the most resources into so they just so happen to be using units that can be usable for right now so function can be used in pvp hilda um leora can be used in pvp um maybe not so much with young chuan or uh, yun chuan and also sally can be used in pvp more tank as teams but you know that's kind of again we're working with what we got but some of the types of teams that you could actually go for and let me do this right we're actually going to save this team and i'll name it later that's my pvp team because i'm going to be messing this up so we're going to go ahead and take these units off just to kind of give you an idea of what kind of teams could you work with right now for example you could go with like a detonation team. So for those of you guys that have invested like the Jiang Mong, say you're using Lu Ling, he can be paired up with Jiang Mong because they just work really well together. Um, I would even argue that what you want to do because PVP speed is kind of king. And when you're working with detonation teams, it's like whoever can get those abilities off first, that's going to really be what matters. So you can go for like a speed lead like Long Mian, right? So Long Mian has the CC freeze so he can stun lock. And then he also has the speed down. He also has the AP pushback in his S2. So that's a 30% pushback. And then once you get that ascended, I think that also inflicts a speed down as well. Now you either can go with like a character like him for your speed lead, which he gives you 20% additional speed, right? Um, or you can go with a unit like Parmy. Now Parmy is going to be more of a damage version of uh, Long Mion. She actually does still stun. Um, once you get Rezos into her, if her stun misses, then she also sleeps. And then you have the AP pushback with the attack down in the S2, which is AOE as well. And then you have the uh, chance to uh, recover HP. And she also has a 20% generalized speed lead that you can use here in PvP. Now, <clears throat> let's say that you decide to you know keep this layout and you're just kind of working with this team uh some of the other units that you can throw in just to kind of help with like your layout you can use units like meredith meredith actually does hp percent damage which is really good against some of the tankier units because no matter what she's always going to be hitting that constant damage um now i know some people are going to ask about like units like hide he's more in game you could technically use him early game if you do like a tank build on him but he's not going to be doing like high amounts of damage right that's just kind of like the game with him is that you'll be kind of ramping up based off of debuff buffing that he ends up uh having happen uh and then you know that again is something i wouldn't really recommend um i would definitely say some other alternatives or options for like pvp specifically um especially early game pvp i would argue that you could use uh hmm you could use lao yuan Lao Yuan is also an option. And you know what? I don't see the character. We're going to actually go to my book so I can show you guys the other characters. Lao Yuan can be used um, in PvP because he has an HP sudden decrease ability, which can be very helpful. It just essentially makes it to where um, if it lands, it's reducing the max HP capacity by 30% on an opponent. So you don't have to do as much damage to kill them, right? And they cannot recover that. The only time you cannot, you know, uh, you have to worry is if there's an Ahmed on that team, right? So if you have an Ahmed, then there's that. Um, 
Um, another sleeper Esper is going to be Alexa, I feel like, because Alexa does have the Kiss of the Nightingale, and a lot of people actually take this ability for granted, because um, what it does is when the carrier takes damage, it reflects 60% true damage back to the attacker at the start of the carrier's turn. Dispels one debuff from the carrier. Now, again, if you're going up against some DPS where they're trying to nuke you, that can actually be a reverse Uno kind of like thing where it actually is more detrimental to them. And it, you know, again, has them killing themselves. Uh, Siren is not a bad unit for at least starting out. And I would even argue even Azanif, right? So Azanif is going to be like another unit you can use for AP pushing. She has the Lotus Mark. Um, again, as you scale her up, she will AP push more, but she also is able to recover or heal with her S2, and she can dispel buffs with her S1. Now, you also have Siren, who is a sleep unit, so she has the ability to AP push back by 20%. She can inflict sleep, and then she grants your entire party speed up, and then when this gets rezzled, it will actually be a defense up as well. So that's something that can really help out significantly with your survivability, being able to control, and you know just being able to rotate properly, right? Now, some of the Espers, because I don't have them, we're going to actually go to the atlas so you guys can actually see what i'm referring to is going to be if we go to uh, esper gallery here and we scroll down to our epics um some of the other ones that i would recommend is freya freya is actually a pretty solid pvp unit she is a ap manipulator and if you notice i'm going to be recommending a lot of ap pushback units speed down uh she has the brisson goblin's watch uh which makes it to where an opponent cannot be debuffed and they get 15 percent ap push at the end of their turn so yes she can and you will be getting her for free from pve and actually Let's go back real quick because, again, I haven't mentioned her, but she is one of those freebie units that you do get. So you can technically use her in Chronos, and I think we have enough shards for her. So we're going to go ahead and um, summon her just in case if I ever need to talk about her. She's on my account. Um, but, yes, you do get her for free, and she's amazing. So you get her just from simply playing over Chrono 7, and that's, like, one of the amazing things about her is that she really is an excellent esper across the board. So I definitely recommend building her no matter what. Um, let's go back real quick, though. Now, we also have uh, units like for Bryce. Now, for Bryce is going to take you a little bit longer to get because he is going to require uh, shards, right? Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, I think he's in club or cube, one of the two. Uh, but what he's able to do with his S2, he's able to give a 100% pushback when this is skilled up and also an attack up uh, when this is a Ascension 3. So that ends up kind of making him like an Abigail, like a uh, free to play, like beginner version of Abigail, right? Um, and then his S3 has the ability with immunity coverage so that does help out with sustaining your more squishier unit or unit that's taking a lot of damage and then preventing debuffs on your party so he's really really good at that now you also have units like for example pritzker pritzker is going to be amazing for controlling stunning aoeing like again I've, I've recommended him for wave clearing content he can work in pvp too um i mean we even have had in the past a season dedicated to pritzker because he was that good at that time and i would even argue for early game players he's still going to be excellent because he can just stun lock people um and then he can also reduce their ability cooldowns um and and that's kind of like one of the biggest things to him is that he can uh or sorry he can increase sorry increase all their ability cooldowns so that's like one of the biggest things to his gimmick um i will say some other sleeper units chloe is really good at buff eating so that's what she does and even if you do decide to build her now um she is going to be useful in trial content later on so that's not a bad investment she is amazing at stealing buffs and she does more damage for every buff that she gets to steal so with her being able to do that she can also inflict buff blocker so to prevent them from getting buffs and then she has the ability to still buffs with her s1 as well uh so really really solid esper um then i would say you also have units like dahlia dahlia is definitely a good rotation unit if you don't have anyone else to work with sachiko probably would be slotted in for a lot of people but the only job that she does really is rotating um and that's from the s3 she grants a crit rate up with a i think 25 percent when this is at max on the ap push and so that's what she's essentially offering your party um i think later on it also gives an attack up so i think it's crit and attack or something like that uh but that's after ascension 3 and so she's actually a really good unit if you do end up getting access to her at some point that you can throw into pvp um now i would say another one that's actually pretty good if you guys did get lucky enough to get jong nan jong nan is basically the shimmer silence version of prisker um and he actually does really good damage so i would actually argue he does a lot more damage than what uh prisker is able to do and he has basically the same capabilities but his is based around or centered around silence right so he's going to be an excellent unit that you can bring into pvp early as well 
Um, and then I feel like everybody else is kind of, you know, like you have the Jade Rabbit Hung Yue combo. So I would definitely say this is probably one of the higher or bigger recommendations, Hung Yue. Um, obviously, is your pure healer, etc. You already kind of know what she does. You've been using her. Um, but then we have the Jade Rabbit, which is Emma who gets a whole bunch of extra bonuses if she's on the same team as Hung Yue. So if uh, it says, for example, um, like if we go to the passive here, I think it says, yeah, for example, if a teammate is Hung Yue, counterattack chance is increased to 100% versus the innate or initial 15% that it is. Um, and then she's able to stun off of that. Um, I think in her S3, she basically has the ability to use her grumpy to increase her attacks uh, and when she consumes all of them she's able to dispel all debuffs off of herself and then i know once you get her invested she can actually resurrect herself so she's actually a pretty annoying character because when you touch her she basically gets the ability to counter you um, especially if hung is on the team it's a 100 percent chance proc right so those are just like some of the units that i would recommend you guys to pick up obviously there are like the higher rarities which are some of the more obvious ones like if you have tolan then yes use tolan in pvp if you have anna yes use her in pvp if you have mavis yes use her uh Farrah is also very very good like there's some obvious from the five stars that are just extremely good uh jenny's great for countering anna for example um you even have like Xuan pen who's great for helping with rotations and uh damage amplifying uh it's got leon for your sustain she's really good in pvp uh and i would say like those are like some of the ones that you can kind of get away with like using fairly earlier um i would even say like obviously you have the tier who's really good but you have to do fusion for him so it might take you a little while it's going to take you a little while to get him if you have gaia um gaia is actually pretty good um she's the only character in the game that can zero out ap so she's going to be excellent for pushing back your team or the opponent's team uh, and then she uh when you actually i think get this to ascension three I think she gets an extra turn. It's either that or one of her rezos. She gets an extra turn at some point from that. Uh, and then she's able to rotate into the attack up speed up, which is like pretty huge. Um, and then she has the assist or the ability to grant the 15% uh, AP to herself and a random ally is what that is, right? So she's really, really good with her S1. And S1 spamming with her is gonna be nasty. Uh, if you have Clara, obviously use her. Cecilia, pretty good. Um, you know, again, still needs some investment with like skill ups to really make her work properly, but she actually works pretty well now. Uh, Feng Nu, she's great. Uh, you have Unis for early, for uh, rotation, which is really good. Uh, Ali's great for like just sustain and damage. Um, Lucas is great for controlling. Uh, Gabby is going to be great for a lot of things. You can use her to buff, debuff, to, you know, tank. Um, she can do some damage. She's great. Stun, if you build her that way, she's great. Uh, I would say Gaius is great for cleaving. Hyde, of course, is more in-game, but he's great for soloing if you can get him built to that degree. But as a beginner, I would not be worried about that. Uh, Tricky is one of the biggest counters in the game to some of the strongest units. If the unit is basically able to purify or get rid of abilities or, de or sorry, debuffs early, he's going to punch punish them with an HP percent ability, and then he will petrify them, which is the strongest stun in the game, which basically makes it to where a unit cannot take action or reduce their ability cooldowns. A lot of people don't know that, that regular stuns you're still able to receive cooldowns when you're petrified you cannot receive any cooldowns right um raven's actually going to be pretty good i would argue she is the best buff stealer in the game with the damage the pursuits the hp selling decrease it's actually really really annoying so for those that are more pvp centric she's going to be great um you do have aries as well aries does need a little bit of a like pretty good build it is a squishier unit but once you have that build fulfilled it's going to be a great esper um, Queen Mother, you do get a little bit later, but if you get her early, um, she's going to be excellent for dispelling, getting rid of CCs off your party, and she cannot be CC'd herself, so um, it basically makes it to where uh, she gets AP pushed, and she is essentially able to rotate. She has a stun in her S1. She can transfer all of the debuffs off your entire party with her S3, and then her passive is what's going to allow her to be able to heal, and then whenever you try to debuff her, uh, she is going to receive a 10% AP push, right? So really, really excellent Esper. Uh, and then the last one I want to mention here is T. Obviously, T is the queen, right? Uh, if you have T, yes, use her as speed lead. Um, her and Tolan are the best speed leads currently in the game. Um, so, yeah, one of those two, if you have one or the other, use them. They are 100% going to help you out significantly. All right. So, that's just kind of like a generalized, quick kind of idea of like what works 
Um, you know, there's obviously more comps. You can do a tank comp with Rinsey or Donar. Like, there's so many different avenues. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys, like, some of the easier alternatives just to kind of work with. Um, now, with Point War, uh, the biggest thing is, is that in terms of challenging, who you challenge, uh, what you challenge, right? Um, the characteristics that I'm looking for when picking who to challenge is, one, levels, right? So you could base this off of, like, purely, like, okay, they have level 60, so I might not challenge them. But if they don't have anything that's going to necessarily, like, like, if you know or understand or kind of, you know, have already started to grasp what, you know, what goes up against what, what works against what, um, then you're fine. But if you are not sure, then try challenging people, at least for the time being, that have lower levels. Um, again, though, that doesn't necessarily mean you can't lose because sometimes it's not just about the levels, but their strategy or how the team rotates, they could still be faster, right? So speed is, that's why another reason why speed is so important because speed is one of those things where it doesn't really matter necessarily because a character of lower levels can technically be faster than you even if you have all level 60 characters, right? So that, that is a possibility. Um, but I know that I could beat something like that so i'm gonna go ahead and blitz it if you know you can beat it confidently just go ahead and blitz it like i said the goal is to keep climbing upward because what we are going for here we now are in uh we already have uh climb back up into tier eight but we're pushing into tier nine tier ten to get another dupe of sachiko because the sooner you can max out uh sachiko the better it'll be for you um so like this person level 54 they have an anna Ooh, that anna could solo me so that is kind of scary but we have function who also is a uh, pretty solid counter to anna so we're not too worried there like you know that's another reason why i would say with the current like lineup or meta that you're up against um you know picking up somebody like function is actually going to be really good so that you're able to actually go up against what we currently have to deal with uh this team might beat me because of mavis yeah so <laughs> i i, I kind of can look at these now because i i played for so long i can kind of gauge um they should have went speed lead here because they actually probably would have beat me um but yeah so it's like kind of grasping and understanding that aspect guys like these teams at least in the first bracket should not be that difficult especially if you've been following the guide and you got your four level six stars at this point this is another reason why i kind of waited because i wanted to make sure i have more of a fleshed out team we already got four units at level 60 and then we have one at level 50 that has some pretty solid gear we don't have everybody fully kitted at like plus 15 gear yet so that's going to come at some point but like i said the whole entire point burn your tickets every single day right you don't want to have any excess or extra um, and you guys can even see, like, even some of the units, like that team had a Jong Nan with a T with a Hung Yue. You're going to start seeing some of those units that I was talking about the Anna, the Jenny, the Queen Mother. Um, you can use some Wukong here. I forgot to mention him as well. See, they just beat me. So, yeah, you can use some Wukong here as well. Um, they're actually a pretty solid Esper. Uh, and I would even argue, like, some Wukong actually might be a little bit better than the Ling at PvP. But, I mean, that's kind of subjective based off of your, your comp. Yeah, that team, I kind of knew I was going to beat me because they had that Leon. But hey, hey, we tried. We tried, right? So yeah, you're just going to try to be very intentional with what teams you're targeting. So of course, aiming for teams that like look weaker are obviously going to be your better bet so that you can always make sure you're moving on an upward curve. Um, like for example, this, I'm like, mm, yeah, I can probably beat this, right? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get those points, okay? Now, beat belt is another thing to talk about because beat belt itself is also going to be a workup. Um, I would say for right now, the biggest challenge is just getting your team set. So using your strongest units or your most invested units is going to be really important. Like if you have extra resos on a unit, use those, you know, use that unit, right? Um, because that actually is a big factor into how this works. Now, if we do our loadout here and we go to uh, rival runes, um, basically what you want to do in terms of leveling up your rival runes, getting to the point where you actually kind of understand like who and what you're investing in as far as your units. I would say your core units or units that you'll first invest in with this is going to actually be the units that you've invested in the most, right? And I think that that's just kind of a clear indication because you could technically go for like PVP units, but I wouldn't necessarily say emphasizing or building PVP units make the most sense when you still have so much PVE stuff to clear to even properly do PVP, right? Um, so we're just going to go ahead and hit that max out. I know that he's like one of the more important wind attuned espers. So you want to level this as much as you can so that they can perform better at 
this beat belt mode right now the way that you're going to be getting these extra strong strong stones is by either the inventory um you should have some boxes in your inventory um you do get these for clearing uh cube miracle for the first time uh cube miracle is going to be one of the places that you get these strong boxes which you can utilize to further investing your um your runes on your character um or you can also do club content so one of those two things will actually allow you to be able to get those. Now, the thing is, is that once you have this fully maxed out, you then are going to be relic boosting. So rival runes have to be above or sorry, at level 15, which is the max in order to boost them. And where do you get boost from or what is being used to boost? It's going to be your, um, you know, your desolate lands. So they're going to be um, uh, uh, relic boost stones, right? So if we go back here and we go and we take a look here at desolate lands the drop from here which are going to be the boost stones are going to be what you use on your river runes and as well as your regular gear for other pieces of content once you kind of have that squared away and you're using your river runes um you know properly they're maxed out you got all of the strong stones for them then that's when these kind of come more into play but up until then it does not matter don't try to force farm these like to get them early like it's just not worth you're gonna grab gradually shift into these contents and pieces of things so that you have a much easier time with the game right so outside of that that's basically that now knockout i am gonna kind of touch on this a little bit knockout is a little bit different than um you know some of the other pieces of content uh we will be coming back to this though because you do need to be in point war 11 so that's another reason why i want to make sure you guys are pushing point war because currently where we're at we're in tier eight um and the first thing you need to do to unlock that that's also going to be giving you like a i think it's like weekly resources or every other week is somewhere around there right um but that's basically going to be putting you in a position where you'll be able to actually um get extra resources uh oh wait that was a speed cc team i don't even know why i challenged that uh but yeah that's going to be basically putting you in a position to get extra resources it really is going to help you out significantly with boosting your account so like i said the main thing is is really focusing point or doing beep out as much as you possibly can you don't have to feel forced to do it um, because it is going to be a process in terms of getting your units built up it, it is just again guys it's going to take more time um, and just being understanding to that fact is it's okay right it, it's part of the process this isn't the main goal i would say within the 30 days if you can get to point where 12 you're doing amazing because it gets you over the goal of point where 11 to unlock knockout and then from there you will be refining and making more sound pvp teams to actually push even higher in the meta right so that's basically that guys i hope that this video was able to help you out i'm um, going into day 19 we'll be back into some more pve pve stuff uh, for the remainder of today as far as my stamina things of that nature we're just going to be pouring it into getting some extra resources so ascension materials so we got a lot of characters right we still need to like fully max out on ascension so we still need to do sally we still got um hilda to finish uh we got yan chuan to finish so yeah working on like your ascensions and like trying to get these fleshed out now i think is a pretty good thing to start working on it's going to give you some great and some really important additional stats outside of your gear um and then of course in the meanwhile we're going to be farming up gear getting some extra relics and then we're going to be selling a lot of relics that we don't need okay so that's basically that guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below everyone stay blessed and i'll catch you guys in the next one